Welcome. Thank you for joining. Welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm excited to bring you into my painting process. So I'm a Canadian fine artist, um, emerging fine artist. I focus mainly in oil painting, but I also do a lot of mixed media, um, which can be a little difficult with oils. Um, I can get into it a little bit later in the process. But I really wanted to be able to share my process of concept to a uh, finished piece and I figure making a video is the best way to do that and it's fun to look back and see where the piece started and how it finished it never it never ever looks good at the beginning so um yeah I'm excited to do this and see the whole process myself and see how far I've grown as an artist as well but thank you for joining I hope you enjoy Leave a few comments below. I want to know if there's any other artists that are watching and your process of doing things. I love learning from other people and art is such an individual practice. It's really hard to interact with other artists in their practice if you have a studio by yourself or a home studio. So I really want to be able to have this community where I can talk to other artists and learn from them as well. So I'm excited to see where this goes. And honestly, I'm just having fun. So I hope you also have fun with me. Yeah. Okay, let's get into it, Bueller. Let's get into it. Welcome to day two of painting. Um, this piece has pretty much just the underpainting done right now. It's really just like a whole wash of phthalo green, um, again with the lifted highlights. So it was quick, easy to do. Now I'm going to go in with some of the details in the background, mainly because those don't have to be as detailed as some of the features on the figure and some of the leaves. Um, the only high detailed pieces or features, let's say, in this piece is going to be the figure's eyes, a few pieces to frame the face almost, um, and then maybe some of the sweater. I haven't quite decided yet how I'm going to depict that. That'll come with time and experimenting. It's always the fun part about painting. You can just test things out. If it doesn't work, wipe it off. It's oil paint, not a big deal. Yeah. Okay, let's just get into it. So I thought I would take this time and explain myself and kind of explain how I come up with my concepts. I rely heavily on a research-based practice. 
So in that, I look at different ideas and concepts throughout my weeks, days, months, uh, and really research specific topics. And then from there, I'll graduate and create a concept from what I've been reading and talking about and listening to. Research can mean a lot of different things, and it doesn't have to be just about reading the analytical papers or the academic work. I think it's really important to also experience other people's art and experience other people's words, not just through writing, but also listening to people, talking to people, and just allowing space for interpretation. This painting really started with my reading of Rafia Zakaria's book Against White Feminism, Notes on Disruption, and I'm really sorry if I'm saying her name wrong. In Zakaria's book, she's talking about different ways that feminism can affect different people and different identities. The book really is an amazing read and I highly recommend it for anybody who's really interested in the modern feminist movement and how intersectionality really plays a strong role in how we can move forward. After reading Zechariah's book, I knew I wanted to confront this kind of power dynamic within the feminist movement, but also just in different communities, and as a white woman, how I perpetuate this. I really started focusing on this idea of power and the complacency within our daily lives and how we continue this pressure. The power in this composition or this painting really is the strong gaze and the visceral reaction of the eyes and the eye contact within the composition. Eyes carry a lot of power, so I really wanted to focus on that gaze and the visceral reaction that people get from being stared at. And these tired, strained, confronting eyes really draw people into the painting. The rest of the painting being more abstract and not fully filled in, not fully fleshed out, really draws to this composition that I'm aiming for where the eyes are the main piece and that they carry most of the emotion within the work. I have a lot of reasons for not fully fleshing out the face and the figure and keeping the background quite abstract, but I feel like I'll talk about that a little bit more next time as I'm focusing on those features and really building up the composition a bit more. I hope to kind of flesh out the eyes a bit more and then look at the background a little bit more in my next video. Thank you for joining me and being a part of my process.